Dear students, now we are going to discuss architecture of 8086 microprocessor in detail. Architecture of 8086 microprocessor has two important functional units. One is bus interface unit, simply BIU, execution unit, EU. So this is the architecture diagram of 8086 microprocessor. There are two functional areas. BIU and EU. The bus interface unit consists of the address summer, segment registers, instruction pointer, instruction queue, B bus, C bus. So here the bus represents the connection lines which are mainly used to connect the internal components of this microprocessor. In 8086 there are four segment registers they are extra segment, code segment, stack segment and data segment. This one is instruction pointer. This instruction pointer is a 16 bit register which is used to point the next instruction to be executed. That's why it is called as instruction pointer. The instruction queue is very very important one in this BAU because to speed up the program execution the bus interface unit fetches the six instruction from the memory locations and store in this instruction queue. It follows the first in first out principle. Okay so here this address summer is used to convert the 16-bit logical address into 20-bit physical address. As we all know that 8086 microprocessor is a 20-bit address. Correct? It is having 20-bit address. But here the registers are in the size of 16-bit Y. Correct? So here we have to convert the 16-bit address into 20-bit address by using this address summer. Do you all understand the concept of this summer? Okay, so here the segment registers and instruction pointer, all the registers in terms of 16-bit. But the actual physical address is 20-bit. So we have to convert the 16-bit logic address into 20-bit physical address by using this address summer okay so the segment register along with this pointer and index registers we can generate this 20 bit address do you all understand this concept okay so next come to this execution unit this execution unit consists of the general purpose register eight general purpose registers are there that is ahal bhbl chcl dhdl okay each one is 1 by register. Then we are having two pointer registers that is here it is stack pointer, base pointer. So here SI and DI, two index registers, source index and destination index. Here ALU, it is very important one in this execution part because it is going to perform arithmetic operations and logical operations on the given data. And the output is given to this data bus to send it to the output port. Correct. So then the operands and flags are given to this registers. The flag registers are mainly used to, to identify the status of that output. That is the conditional level of that output. The BAU and execution unit can work simultaneously to increase the system speed and throughput. Throughput means the number of instructions executed per clock cycle. That is called as throughput. Do you all understand? So we can discuss each component in detail here. Bus interface unit. It is having the components instruction queue, segment register, address summer, bus logic circuit. This bus logic circuit is responsible for Performing all bus related operation. Bus related operation means connecting the devices. Okay. So next important functions of this BAU. It sends address of the memory as well as input output ports. 
it fetches instructions from memory and it reads writes data from or into that memory as well as input output port it supports instruction queuing and provides address relocation facility okay so this address relocation facility is very important in case of jump instruction and call instructions okay so next one is instruction queue so in order to speed up the program execution the bus interface unit fetches six first instructions bytes from the memory and stores in the instruction queue to fetch the next instruction when the current instruction is execution it is called as pipelining process here we are going to use the concept pipelining so we can easily fetch the next instruction while the current instruction is in execution through this instruction queue the queue operates on the principle of fi fo that is first in first out that execution unit gets the instruction in the order they are fetched so here in the instruction queue we are storing in the proper order so that execution unit can get the instructions one by one in a proper way okay in case of jump and call instructions the instruction queue is newly formed by loading the instruction from new address specified by the jump call instruction so next segment registers here the physical address of 8086 processor is 20 bit wide so we can access 2 power 20 that is 1 megabyte memory location. It is a very large amount of memory location is available in the memories right. So here we are going to segment that memory locations like this that is 64k each. So first one is extra segment, stack segment, data segment, code segment okay that overall physical sizes 1 megabyte we are going to segment into four categories we are going to store all the data related details in this data segment and instructions that program instructions can be stored in this code segment extra segment additionally we can use it okay so this all are the memory segmentation process okay here the logical address is 16 bit wide Logical address means that physical memory stored. Okay, so what data we are stored in that memory space is logical address. But the physical address of the 8086 processor is 20 bit because it is having 20 address lines. Okay, here code segment is used for addressing the executable program instructions. Data segment is used to store the data used by the program. Okay, so whichever data is involved in that processor, all the data are stored in this data, all the instructions. Okay, so program instructions are stored in this code segment. Stack segment, it is mainly used to handle the memory to store data and addresses during execution. So in a stack means in a proper order. So extra segment, it is an additional data segment used by the string operations okay string manipulation we can use this extra segment instruction pointer is a 16 bit register used to, to hold the address of the next instruction to be executed so we can easily access the next instruction from the instruction queue using this instruction pointer next we are going to discuss the execution unit eu it consists of the following components, control circuitry, arithmetic logic circuit, flag register, general purpose registers, pointers and index registers. So the major functions of this execution units are given here. It tells the bus interface unit from where to fetch the instructions or data. So all that instructions are given by this execution unit to the bus interface unit. It decodes instructions and executes that instruction. The control circuitry directs and controls the internal operations. The decoder translates the instruction into a series of actions to be performed in that processor. Okay. Arithmetic logic unit simply we can say ALU. It performs all arithmetic and logical operations in the microprocessor. Arithmetic operation means addition, subtraction, division, multiplication and 
modulo operation here it is modulo operation and logical operation means and or not this are the logical operation so all arithmetic and logical operations can be done in this arithmetic logic unit so next one is flag registers so this register is mainly used to analyze the status of the output signal okay from that arithmetic logic unit so here this flag register is a 16 bit register but we are going to have only 9 flags in this 8086 processor the remaining 7 bits are simply defined as undefined u represents what undefined so there is no values okay so here we are having 9 flags this is the diagrammatic representation of the 16 bit flag register so this nine flags are classified into two types one is conditional flags these flags are available in 8085 microprocessor also okay so these are the additional flags especially used for this 8086 microprocessor conditional flags here are carry flag auxiliary carry flag parity flag zero flag sign flag overflow flag carry flag is one means that means if this first zero to bit is one means it represents the alu output is having the carry okay so zero flag where is the zero flag that is the sixth bit okay the sixth bit is equal to one okay this position is one means that output is zero okay so this is how we can define that status of the output signal do you all understand so here parity flag zero flag sign flag and then overflow flag this all are the conditional flags okay so next one is control flags that is track flag interrupt flag direction flag so these flags are used to control the operations of execution unit so next one is pointers and index registers so this segment registers and pointers this all are mainly used to convert the logical 16 bit address into the physical 20 bit address okay so as i told you earlier all the register used in this 8086 processor is only 16 bit wide but the physical address is 20 bit wide okay so here we have to get the 20 bit physical address by summing up the segment register along with this index pointers and stack pointers base pointers so here stack pointer it contains the 16 bit offset value from the start of the stack segment so here we are going to obtain 20 bit address by adding the value of stack segment along with the stack pointer next one is base pointer it is based on data addressing mode so we can get the 20 bit data address by adding the base pointer along with the segment register okay source in text register is used to hold the offset of a data word in a data segment so we can obtain 20 bit address for the data segment by adding the source in text with this data segment destination in text register is mainly used in string manipulation operation String instructions use extra segment and this destination index to calculate that 20 bit address. So next one is general purpose registers. These registers are very very important in execution unit because in microprocessor all data that is operands are stored in a registers. Then it is processed. Finally the result will also be stored in that registers. So these registers are widely used in that execution unit. There are eight general purpose registers that is AH, AL, BH, BL, CH, CL, DH, DL. These all are 8 bit registers. We can combine these two registers together to make it as a 16 bit registers. Okay, if you want to store 16 bit data, we can use these two registers together as a pair. So here we can have four pairs of registers that is AX register which is having both AH and AL. So it is called as accumulator register. It is mainly used to store the operands for arithmetic logic unit operations. So next one is BX register. It is also called as base register. 
So here it is used to store the starting base address of the memory location within the data segment. Okay. Next CX register. It is also called as counter register. It is used in loop instructions. Okay. So last one is data that is DX register. It is mainly used to hold the input output port address. Okay. So this is what the general purpose register of the 8086 architecture. Okay.